My aim is to be the best centre back in the world. I think it's time now to show what a leader I can be. It's time to now go to the next level. I suppose I have to start with a huge congratulations. Thanks very much. On your new contract. You. Why have you brought us here? What's going on? So I think the first time I had my first trial, it was here, it was like the academy's last day of the season, they got to play on the pitch. Um, and they invited me along, so I turned up in, I was the only one not in kit. But yeah, it was like, you know, dreams come true. First trial at Arsenal and then actually at Highbury as well. So I'm glad I got that experience. So for you, like, looking back, just a story from where you've started here at Highbury. Yeah. I remember playing here, just already bringing back the memories. So actually what you've achieved so far and now signing a new contract, how do you feel? Yeah, it's surreal. You know, like, I've always been really open about how much I love Arsenal, how much, you know, I'm a fan first. That's how it's always been. But to actually have achieved things along the way that I have, to get in the first team to start with was almost good enough for me, you know, I'd have taken that at the time. So I think to actually have built on that and then the fact that the club want me to stay and it's still working out, it's like a little fairy tale really. Yankee. That's a really nice touch by Leah Williamson who's still going. And a sublime finish to match. What a way to announce yourself on the senior stage. Take a bow, Leah Williamson. Let's be open and honest. Yeah. Uh, do this a bit differently, like true feelings. Because I know how hard it was for you. Yeah. And I've been in the situation myself, the club that I love, I've grown up at, same as you, and you get to a crossroads. Yeah. And I remember sitting down with a piece of paper, what do I do? And I've had conversations with you. Yeah. So yes, it's a huge moment that you've signed the contract, but why have you signed the new contract? I've signed because I've always said that this is my club, I want, I want to be you, you know, I want, to, I want to leave behind a legacy, you know, Emma Byrne, Kelly Smith, Rachel Yankee, Faye White, all these players that, that gave their footballing careers in England to this football club and there's a reason that you all did that and it's because of the success that the club had and how much you love it. And that's why I say it's a fairy tale that I'm still here, I have won trophies, we continue to compete for trophies, that's really important to me and I think that I owe the club as well for, for everything that they've always given me and it's time for me to, to give back to them and, and like I say, stay another year and, and, try and try and bring that success back to North London. Right, isn't it? Because I like, look, you've already achieved so much. In terms of like trophies, you've now broken into the national team. But for me, I do feel there's a next level. It's like a new chapter for you. What is that? Yeah, again, I've never been shy in saying that my aim is to be the best centre back in the world. I think that my coaches have always had that belief in me. Other players have always said to me that I, I could go as high as I wanted to. And I think that I need to start realising that now. And that was another thing about signing my contract. Can I do that here? And I believe for the foreseeable that, that, yeah, that's true. And that as much as I push my own standards, you know, playing around the best players and training and, and getting the right support from the coaching staff and um, hopefully all those things mixed together, then I, I can take it to the next level. Because right now, you know, everybody knows me for my passing, my ball playing, you know, that, that side She's of my game. She's a baller. <laughs> Um, and growing up at Arsenal Academy, I'd expect nothing less, less of myself, but I think it's time now to show maybe what a leader and, and a defensive player I can be. Um, and I think that's, that's that next one, two percent for me that I need to, I need to tick, tick off that box. Leader? So you want to be future Arsenal captain? Is that inside? <laughs> I think that the captain's armband... Don't shy away from it, come on! The captain's <laughs> armband finds you, I think. I do genuinely believe Good that. Good answer. Uh -huh. I think that if you're the right person, then that, that path will always, you'll always meet. But yeah, of course I would, you know. I captained the team once this year, last season, and I was crying at the end because it's, it's emotional for me. You know, I, I, I get embarrassed sometimes because I'm not sure in the women's game that there's that much love for clubs as there is in the men's, but that's how I feel about Arsenal. And if I was ever given that honour, yeah, I'd, uh, it's making me a bit like... <laughs> Yeah. yeah. But you say that, I remember seeing it and being like, oh, like it's my heart. I got emotional about <laughs> it because like how you said, you growing up at the club, not only that, like you're a fan, your mum, your family. It's hard to express and tell people how ingrained you are in this club. Like, yeah, yeah they talk about my story and everything, but you are exactly that. Yeah, no, exactly. Like to feel a certain way about a club and then how we talk about Arsenal now, like 
I've got everything I want in my world, everything that's important to me. Because genuinely, Arsenal's up there in the most important things in my life. Of course it is, it's such a big part of my family and I've got all those things all together, um, which just makes it, you know, it makes me happy, it uh, always has done. I can feel the emotion right now, I can feel it. <laughs> Talk to me about some of your standout moments so far in your career for Arsenal. Winning the FA Cup final at Wembley in 2016. I always say that's one of my favourites. People think it would be Champions League. I always say 2016 it was just, Wembley. Yeah, because it's Wembley. It's mm -hmm. like, I don't know if you agree with this, but I think that when, you was, when I was younger, playing at Wembley wasn't achievable. It definitely wasn't for you. Not, I'm not giving nothing on your age, but you know, <laughs> what, <I'm not>. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. It wasn't a thing. So I think then that makes it even more attractive to want to do because all of a sudden, oh my God, I can now play at Wembley. Okay, now we're going to go and win with, with my team, you know, like, I remember sitting next to Emma Byrne on the bench and nobody should ever be happy about sitting on a bench, but I'm like, if there's a way to do it. This I remember when you came on. This is the way. <laughs> yeah, you screamed at me for five minutes straight, Alex. I remember too, I remember too. We got over the line, we got we over did, the line. We did, we um, did. But yeah, like, I don't know, it just, that was that was very, very special, I think, that, that whole day. It's probably one of the best days of my life, to be honest, just as a whole package, like, everything about it. The record holders of the FA Cup have won another trophy. Their 14th FA Cup success. They had the legendary Smith to start. They had the only goal scorer in Dan Carter. They have the 2016 FA Cup. In terms of the fans, because they have been begging you to stay <laughs> yeah. constantly, what's your message to them? Do you know what this is like? I really, really have felt very appreciated in this whole process, and um, they definitely swayed me before you know, before you really sit down and have a think about your future. Well, I to, didn't. No, yeah. I'm <laughs> <laughs> you go on. Um, but yeah, do you know? I don't know. I just felt very loved by them, and I like that because that was once me. So again, like I've been in them, their shoes, and I am actually living the dream. So I hope they know that I would never take a second for granted, really, and that what I do every day is because I know how grateful I am to be in the position that I am. You know, I see myself as the same as them in terms of my love for the club. So, yeah, I suppose my message to the fan is that I promise that I will give it my everything and I hope that the impact I can have on the club as well is as big as the impact the club's had on me.